Ah, good morning. I hope you had a restful sleep, and I do apologize for the disturbance. Hopefully you recall requesting this wake-up call. And while we iron out one or two technical difficulties, I hope you don't mind this somewhat personal touch. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. I'll let the host know you're on your way. Uh, and please, enjoy your stay. Hi, it's Adam from Months and PCs, and today is the first of a new series that we're going to be doing weekly with new games for you guys to try out. We're going to be testing them, putting them through the paces so that you know whether it's worth picking up or not. We're going to try and keep most of the games on the list either free or on sale at the time of recording. This week we're going to start with The Spectrum Retreat. Now this is a game I believe I'd seen the artwork of but I never really knew much about the game. Without trying to give any spoilers away, essentially you wake up in a hotel, it's completely empty, you've got no memory of being in this hotel or how you got there and it's being run by robotic assistants which is a little bit strange as we saw in the opening sequence. The main plot of the game is to find out exactly what's happened, how you've got there, and potentially escape. The Spectrum Retreat is a 2018 video game released on Windows, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. It was developed by a gentleman called Dan Smith from the age of 15, and it took him five years to develop the game. Now, I don't know about you guys, but at 15, I wasn't doing anything as exciting as creating a game i was probably losing myself to some halo game at the time so the main game is actually a puzzle game now bear with me when i try and describe the puzzles for you so the game is built around these puzzles with these light boxes that switch on and off and that then opens areas up to you on the right hand, bottom right hand corner, you'll see that white circle. Now if we click the orange, that goes to an orange circle. I can then throw that orange onto a white circle and pick up the white and vice versa. So that's sort of the basics of how the game works. Now the idea is to get through to the other end, but you've got to set yourself up a little bit earlier on. So I'm not explaining this very well. Just Watch the footage and you'll, you'll understand. When doing the puzzles, it does give you a bit of a feeling of Portal about it, and if you love playing Portal and Portal 2, this game is going to be right up your street. The game itself is pretty easy to start picking up once you've played it a little while. There were no real instructions at the beginning, so you do have to have a basic sort of knowledge of how to move around. The way that the game looks, it's very square. They've, they've not put many sort of round objects or too many moving objects, but again, you've got to remember this game was designed by a 15 year old, so I wasn't expecting to have much more than that. The story seems to be pretty good as well. There's a lot of moments that sort of grip you because you want to find out what's happening, how you've got there, and that sort of ties in the games. The puzzles do last for a while. The downfall I have with this is when you are in the hotel, it's how long it takes to get around. The hotel is pretty big. There's not a lot going on, there's no movement. And trying to run around and find exactly what you're looking for can be a bit laborious. Notwithstanding that though, the puzzles are really enjoyable, the gameplay is fun, and actually I've had a great time playing it. It's a good game, and I would recommend anyone to try this out. So the game itself is from the Epic Game Store, and at the moment, instead of paying $9.99, it is completely free. Now this does end on the 8th of July at 4pm, so make sure you go on there, even if you just add it to your library, it's another free game that you could jump in and out of at a later point. Let me know if you do get it, if you've enjoyed it, let us know in the comments below, and we will catch you next week.